Da sind so unsere Zollstockträger. Wow. Now, uh, talk about taking the rule of law seriously as German, low IQ, obedient, violent men in statist government uniforms, a.k.a. the Polizei, literally walk around a peaceful demonstration making sure that people are social distancing enough with ruler. <laughs> Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Zuckerdowski here of WeAreChange.org. And just when you think things can get more absurd, well, they obviously can. As in this video, we're going to be telling you what CNN and the CIA have in common, as well as some latest revelations of some absolutely clear, disgusting collusion. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more. But before we do, we wanted to remind you that there have been incredible amounts of people hitting the streets all over the world protesting against the draconian totalitarian lockdowns restrictions mandates and abusive behaviors by their fellow governments that are exploiting a tragedy for their own political and financial success the video that you're seeing right now is an endless procession from vienna austria this video with countless numbers of people coming together is from sydney australia this is the czech republic as a of course, ordinary, law-abiding citizens have been hitting the streets saying enough is enough. And the amount of people that have been coming out week by week is absolutely significant and of course something that should be talked about in the corporate media, but yet oddly is not. What has been some of the responses by the governments that are being protested here? Well, some of them, like in Germany, have been repressing peaceful demonstrations and protests, and of course still obediently, blindly following the whims of government, which literally has elderly people, like seen in this video, we can't show you this video, but we're showing you a screenshot of it, of an elderly woman being yet again manhandled by brutish thugs, blindly following orders. And of course this is the norm in many states where the government is becoming more oppressive, as of course in Australia, there was shocking video showing a biker gang police unit viciously attacking unarmed men for not wearing masks, even though the men went and bought masks. And then when these men went outside, they were still shackled, tackled, and beat ruthlessly by dangerous men who work for the government. And of course, the absurdity reached a new level where in Germany, they are literally using rulers <laughs> at demonstrations, making sure that people social distance. Germany is also a country where we're finding out school children are being subjected to ridicule and humiliation in public schools if they didn't take a procedure that the government there wants them to take. Austria, where we saw those huge demonstrations just a few moments ago, is planning to introduce a quote law, a decree that would arrest people for up to a year for not getting a procedure that the government wants them to take. And with a lot of these measures falling flat on its face, even with the majority of citizens complying with them, why would we have such levels of, of cruelty? Families being ripped apart from each other on their deathbeds, punished for, quote, unauthorized hugs, trying to console their dying loved ones. Most people have complied. Most people have gone along with the programming. And what do we have to show for it? Well, the government demanding more as Foreign Policy just released a new publication saying that it's only the government knowing everything you're doing that could save us from this sickness, as they call for definition change of the word privacy, as they push for more big brother Orwellian technological control of our existence. And with everyone sacrificing, everyone putting their lives on hold, giving up their dreams, their aspirations, their businesses, their financial futures, who benefits from these larger power grabs? Well, obviously the government and of course their cronies that they work with hand in hand, the part of the multinational corporations that are becoming more powerful by the day and richer as, of course, they extract the wealth from the average person to themselves, to their friends in government. As we're finding out through the Los Angeles Times today that many hospitals routinely lie, 
price gouge and hike up prices up to 600 to 700 percent for average hospital visits unethically essentially siphoning off the wealth from people who need their help the most now that right there is a corrupt system and because the greedy have bought out government your representatives and any form of any legitimate governance right in front of your eyes what's the biden administration's response to all of this well joe biden just announced that he is raising the debt limit of the united states so it could pay them off even more as of course some governments look inwards to pay for these multinational corporations like in new york where the governor there is looking to impose a thousand dollar fine for a violation of not wearing a mask indoors and as the debt ceiling gets raised to pay off the special interests the billionaires the multinational corporations that truly do call the shots they have done this to such an egregious greedy level that right now we are dealing with the devaluation of the US dollar, which is only losing its value as more time goes on, as more money gets printed, as more corporations get theirs. All of the tunes to the corporate media that one day tells you that there won't be any inflation, the next day tells you that there is no inflation, the next day tells you that inflation is transitory, and now we have reached a level where corporate media is literally arguing that inflation is a good thing and because the corporate media are just absolute pathological psychotic liars for the special interest class this is why we have started a shirt store to compete with them on the best political shirts.com ever since of course we got demonetized i have personally decided to see that larger move as a blessing and i started to make content and shirts and messages that of course can't ever be censored can't ever be demonetized and help us continue our operation these make absolutely great gag gifts even just normal christmas gifts and also more importantly a gift that will help spread an important message that you could participate in just by going to thebestpoliticalshirts.com. Just scroll and see what we got and be ready to be surprised. As, of course, we definitely do not pull any punches here and uh, we definitely go for the jugular, to say the least. The shirt I'm wearing right now is one of the shirts that you could get highlighting a very informative informational graphic about people who believe in government and, of course, everyone else. That shirt plus a lot more all available just with you clicking the link down below and going to thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And because you do, we're still here. Now, uh, today, there's a lot of media news surrounding Chris Wallace and his departure from, of course, Fox News where he will be joining the last few remaining hosts of CNN, people like Oliver Darcy and, of course, Brian Stetler. I say the last few remaining because there's a lot of people getting fired at CNN recently that, within a year, has had the Lubin-Tubin controversy, fired a lot of their staff members for not complying with government mandates, recently had their top talent, Chris Como, fired over digging up dirt on his brother's harassment victims, and now, as of moments ago, we're finding out that a senior producer at CNN was arrested for forcing himself and doing unspeakable things to children now this is the stuff that that we know now imagine what we don't even know that's going on that is still secret in that criminal enterprise that has literally become more of a criminal institution than a news reporting institution as of course it's bringing more harm to innocent people than actual news this is john griffin the senior producer of cnn who was trying to quote trained properly a 13 year old this man was also a very close companion to chris como who has just been fired by cnn and the details of this charge are again uh too crazy to get into and of course this is not the only cnn employee in hot water because of similar related matters as of course don lemon another star anchor of the alleged most trusted name in news is being sued by a man that is alleging that Don attacked him, as this man suing also just revealed that he was offered a half a million dollars to settle, as he is publicly deciding to speak out, as he recently called CNN a, quote, predator-protecting machine. Now, uh, I don't know about you, but I think it's fair to say that there is a trend here, as I think it's fair to say that CNN has been recently acting like the CIA that also is caught up in their own controversy, as it was recently revealed 
through declassified CIA Inspector General reports that highlight CIA government officials committing crimes against children and deciding not to hold their own agency personnel accountable for horrible crimes that are absolutely unspeakable that only a CNN producer would commit. Now, of course, as we know throughout the years, there's also a lot of unofficial collaboration between the CIA and CNN, with even one of CNN's main anchors literally going through CIA training. The CIA also routinely plants news stories domestically and internationally. So could there be a link between the seedy, nasty, disgusting behavior by the CIA and the seedy, disgusting behavior of CNN? Well, who really knows? As of course, we can only speculate from here as a lot of their business dealings are shrouded in mystery, secrecy, and of course, classified documents. But there is a lot of circumstantial evidence. And again, correlation does not prove causation, but there are some photos showing Ghislaine Maxwell an international trafficker and blackmailer for the intelligence agencies, as deemed by many political scholars, seen here photoed with Jeff Zucker's wife on uh, more than one occasion. So what is Ghislaine Maxwell doing with Jeff Zucker's wife, the current CEO of CNN? Well, that's a question that should be asked, but isn't. There's also this photo making the rounds on the internet showing Ghislaine Maxwell here with the owner of the Atlantic, Laureen Powell, whose publication is literally running cover for people who hurt children in unspeakable ways, saying that children being trafficked is, quote, fake. This, as we're getting more and more information about the inner workings of power in this country, committing those same acts. So to see the Atlantic coming out in this scathing, nasty, absolute Orwellian propaganda piece and knowing that their owner is connected and was getting cozy with Ghislaine Maxwell, this definitely does raise some suspicions to say the least. As of course, Ghislaine Maxwell was interconnected in the espionage business as well as the business of procuring many media moguls, media stars, and celebrities with young children for unspeakable acts. Now to say that there's some corruption is an absolute understatement the actions that have been committed by many powerful people that a lot of people trust, whether they're in the news business or in the government business, is absolutely reaching an unavoidable level where people need to hear about these stories, hear about what they're doing, because as of right now, that is the only way that there could be some kind of accountability and some kind of justice for the children enwrapped and involved in these horrible scandals that a lot of powerful people don't want you talking about. And that's why sharing this video is more important than ever. And because you do, I'm still able to be here. There's a lot of injustices in the world, especially committed against Julian Assange, a man that essentially embarrassed the intelligence agencies by showing the world what they were really up to, exposing their lies. Right now, he's being punished. There was a court proceeding ruling against him recently, as, of course, we're also finding out that he also, a few weeks ago, suffered a stroke during one of his court appearances. The, the, the fact that this man is behind bars, that he's put in solitary confinement, that he's being tortured right now, is an absolute huge injustice. And with injustices like this, there's absolutely no reason to have faith in the system that com commits these atrocities. That's my perspective. What's yours? If you thought I was wrong in any way, shape, or form, let me know down in the comment section below. I always appreciate your constructive criticism. I always appreciate your comments. I always appreciate your wit and your humor. Even the negative comments because you're still spending time with me and because you do that, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.